Now in other news, three cases of the new BA 2.75 coronavirus variant, also known as Centaurus, were found in Israel, the health ministry announced on Sunday. All three patients had recently returned from abroad. Joining us now with more on this new variant is Professor Cyril Cohen, head of the Immunotherapy Lab at Bar Ilan University. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Lida. Thank you for having me. So, Cyril, first of all, how are you feeling? I understand that finally, after five waves, the coronavirus has finally caught up with you. Yes, immunologists are not immune to, to COVID indeed. And uh, yes, I'm okay. I'm doing fine. Actually, I'm at the end of my isolation period. And the two first days were tough, but right now I, I, I'm feeling much better. Um, it's okay. I mean, you know, we, we have to go through that. And I think that most of us, we go through that several times, unfortunately, especially when we see new variants popping up. I will. Happy to hear that you're feeling better. And so what can you tell us now about BA 2.75, or as it's being called, Centaurus? Yeah, so basically the name Centaurus is just uh, by mistake. It's not uh, the official name. It was someone on Twitter joking. Uh, so uh, that variant is a variant that we detected or that was detected in uh, India, uh, uh, I would say around uh, three weeks ago. Uh, and the interesting thing is that it popped up in a few different regions at the same time, like 10 different regions. Right now, we are aware that uh, around more than uh, I would say 10 countries have detected that variant in the US, in the UK, in Germany, in Japan, and now in Israel. Uh, the three cases that were detected in Israel, two came from France. And actually, France, as far as I know, is not aware that there are you know, those, uh, th that this variant is actually uh, now also in France. So, you know, they are trying to understand what is going on. But basically, the only thing that we know right now is that there are a lot of mutations, the most mutated spike protein we have seen so far. And those mutations might help, and we have proof of that, might help the variant escape immunity or previous immunity or other uh, I would say, um, uh, or uh, therapeutic agents, like, you know, a certain uh, medicine is not effective against that variant. So this is why people are a little bit, I would say, concerned. The other thing is that in India, there was a, a wave, a, the start of a wave of a BA5, which is a dominant variant right now in Israel and in other places in the world, and suddenly it disappeared because the BA2.75, that variant, the Centaurus, was actually stronger. So that's why people are a little bit concerned. Now people are following that. Regarding the severity of the disease, there is not much information. It is believed that it is in line with what we know is Omicron, meaning extremely contagious, but you Usually, in most cases, for people with good health and vaccinated, it's not life-threatening. All right, so you said that BA5, the dominant variant as of today, I mean, what is the situation now in Israel? We're in the midst of the fifth wave, or is it starting to die down? No, so basically, I think that we are, on, I would say, at the peak of that sixth wave. What we have seen right now is that the R zero, the reproduction rate of the virus is going down, 0 0.9, meaning that the Technically, the epidemic is shrinking. The problem is that we know that people are not testing themselves. And I went to do an official test. So, you know, my, my case is reported, but I know of a lot of people that do not do that. The other thing that we are looking at mainly are the severe cases. We are now at the peak of four months. We have around 435 patients in severe condition, which is not, I would say, a few. It's a, it's a lot of patients quite uh, compared to what we knew, but this number is more or less stable. And that's why we believe that given that there is now a, a decrease, a slight decrease in the number of daily cases and a peak at the number of severe cases, we believe that within a month that wave will be behind us. But, you know, the COVID has always, COVID has always surprised us, yeah. you know, in its back for us. And what about the vaccines? I mean, it's been a long time since a booster has been given to Israelis. Are the vaccines even effective at this point against BA5 and this new variant? Yes, yes, you, you are totally correct. So basically, I think that the most important thing to remember is that vaccines right now with those new variants is mainly effective against severe disease and not against transmission that we know. All right, Professor Cyril Cohen, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today, and we wish you a speedy recovery. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Hi everyone, it's Emmanuel Kadosh. I wanted to invite you all to subscribe to ILTV Plus, where you can find our daily news and updates about Israel. And not only that, but live feeds, entertainment, our kosher food show, and so much more. Needless to say, your subscription to ILTV Plus helps us grow and create more content while also supporting the state of Israel. Our app is available on all platforms and devices, so I'll see you guys there.